we are sitting in Norfolk, Virginia, in the United States of America at a convention, and Jenny Percy is a South African friend of mine that I've got to know through her health having turned around. How many years ago, Jenny? Four. Four, four, four years ago. Her health, husband's health and hers, particularly your husband's. My husband turned around dramatically. Unfortunately, he's not here now, although he will be in the United States tomorrow. Um, but we are going to be talking to Jenny because she's also been helping a lot of people and encouraging them with their health and seen some dramatic changes there. So I'm really just going to share with us how her family's health has changed and any changes in people around that she shared the basic natural way principles with. So Jenny, tell me, where did it all start? Um, it started at the age of 32. From the age of 32 to 42, he had bronchial asthma, which okay. came from nowhere. No. Um, I believe it's the, um, it was the ammonia that they used for the printing. He's yeah. in the architectural business. Yeah. Um, yeah, for, the, those, for those 10 years, he had bronchial asthma. Yeah. A lot of prednisone. Hospitalized twice, prednisone intravenously, orally. Yeah. A lot of asthma pumps, yeah. and then he had a. It came right, and for for four years he was fine. He, yeah. he ran a comrades, he ran the two oceans, he was yeah. fine, and then he developed um, aches and pains, yeah. and he was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Oh really? Yes, yeah. and um, then um, from there it was just more cortisone, yeah, the trixate, anti-flame painkillers. It, it just went on and on and on. Um, he developed a little ulcer on his leg, a little vein that turned into a terrible, terribly big ulcer. Thought he'd lose his leg. Um, managed to save that with jet therapy and through the lady at jet therapy, Shireen, she put us onto a, um, someone in Nasna who helped us detox. And um, through that, we got into an eating plan that somebody, that one of the guys at work had read, said yeah. took it to work, and said, um, no, his mother's got a book about this eating plan, and it was your book. Oh, really? Yes, and then um, I said, brought the book home. I read half of it, gave it back, and bought my own. And, but we carried on, because there was a big improvement. He yeah. was on barley, they had put him on barley, and taken um, a whole lot of things out of his diet, yeah. gluten and things. I guess um, he took gluten now. Uh, he was taking at barley, that stage, barley, barley, barley juice, and then yeah. taking a whole lot of other things, um, aloe, um, oxygen powders, okay. and all those things. Everything anybody suggests. That and it, yeah. he did improve. He lost yeah. a lot of weight. Um, and if I knew then what I knew now, I would have been able to help him a lot more. But yeah. uh, um, he was very concerned about the weight loss. Yeah. We then went back to the normal way of eating and everything came back again. Oh really? So he was oh, totally clear of the arthritis, oh, there were no lung problems? No, nothing. No, okay, it, it and how long was he free for that? Uh, not long. Okay. Not long. No, so then he went back to the old, old way of eating, eating and what started came back? Just the arthritis? The arthritis, the, the arthritis, no. Never again did he have the bronchial asthma. Okay. And then um, he started again, as I said, and back onto the medications, back to all the doctors and the specialists and the scans. And um, that's when I emailed Mark, and then I think the very next day I had a reply to chat to Laurie Ann Park. Yes, she's and a natural she's health our consultant. Yeah. She was our life saver. We consulted with her for a long, long time. And I think so did you just consulted her on the telephone? Or did over you the go phone? Down to Cape no, Town? over the phone. Okay. Over the phone for an hour. Yeah. The time. And it was great. Within a week, he was. And what was he doing? What, what was the difference? The difference was he was in not, in not in a lot of pain anymore. Mm -hmm. He could now pick up the garage door himself. He could now turn the tap on in the bathroom. He could okay. turn himself in bed where he couldn't do these things. And drive. He couldn't was walk. he able to drive? He could, funny enough, he could. The driving wasn't a problem. And walking? He, walking was terrible. Okay. Yeah. Um, he couldn't. Um, oh, he couldn't open any jars or anything like that. Um, he couldn't. Um, turning in bed was a problem. He, the one, one of the things that did improve. I mean, lots. Well, everything improved. 
Yeah. But little things, you would say little things like, oh, what are you wearing? You can smell something, the perfume or oh, whatever. Really? Yes, isn't it? we didn't realise that all those things he... Sense of smell. Sense of smell he'd lost. Um, food he had said the taste as well. Yeah. Had it all started coming back. It was put onto the barley life, okay. the ready beets and the um, carrots, yeah. and f onto frame essentials, and um, amigos. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the diet changed radically. We took him off gluten, mm -hmm. off dairy, off sugar, and off whatever I lived out there before. Things. Animal protein. Animal protein. Animal protein. And um, it was the, uh, the improvement was unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, with that, I changed as well. We both, I decided yeah. to do it with him, and um, we both changed. Had he gone back on the medication at this point? At this stage, he was still on a lot of medication. Okay. And within four months, mm -hmm. he was off all his medication. Oh, that was awesome. Off the med methotrexate, off the pain, killers, off so everything. a lot of money and a lot of a time. A lot of money. Yeah. Yes. How much was it costing you? It was probably costing us, like, I don't know, 800 rand a month, maybe. Yeah. It's just like a hundred dollars. It was a lot of yeah. cortisone that he was taking. Yeah. And um, yes, I don't know if you can ask me any questions, and I can answer them. But yeah, um, what? So, so that was four years ago. You say yes. Is he now being completely free? He's not completely free. He, depending on the stress levels, yes. it does. He is a bit sore. Yeah. Um, and then he, but he knows now what to do, you know, yeah. the, and um, he will take more of the omegas, more yeah. barley. Yeah. But he's not going on medication. He's not on medication. And, um, and his diet? And is his it as strict as it was? It's or is not as strict as it was, no. Okay. Uh, it is very difficult, as we yeah. know. Um, yeah. we've, uh, the business situation has changed, and these guys bring in their yesterday's pizza and pastas. It yeah. smells so good. Full of gluten. Yes. <laughs> And he's inclined to also want something different. Mm -hmm. So he'll sneak a piece of rye bread or some whole wheat bread, which yeah. um, he does. So he's really and just managing it. He really. is. And then he, he knows his limits. Then he it? uses the fiber blend. Oh, that was another thing. The fiber, oh, fiber blend. 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 Okay. The fiber blend was fantastic. So if he has gluten, he uses fiber blend to go. Yes, on. yes. Move um, it out. Yes. Um, but the heartburn he had, yeah. such heartburn. Oh, that was a big thing yeah, with all that medication. Yeah. But that was a big thing. And it was from the medication directly? That was from the medication. Okay, and so that was all gone. It was terrible. And with the heartburn, I suppose he couldn't eat very well? It, you know, he couldn't eat very did well. Did he regain some of the weight he'd lost? He did, he did. It took time. Yeah. It took time. Uh, but I realised he had to break down and then stabilise. Yeah. And no, he's fine. He's actually very well at the moment and yeah. looking good. Yes. And how old is he now? He will be 60 next year. Oh, really? Yeah. And how did changing your diet did it have any improvement on you? I mean, yes. any change? Yes. I am estrogen dominant. Okay. And uh, heavy bleeding. Yes. And that was unbelievable. So what the was it? Energy like? levels. How many heavy. days bleeding? I mean, this is no. Cool, I was very regular. Yes, very regular. But just heavy bleeding. Just very, very heavy. Like you Only become anemic week, almost. I it? was very anemic. Oh, okay. The doctors wanted to um, do the hysterectomy, yeah. give me blood. And oh wow! Yes. No, and just, how soon after changing your diet did that change? You know that I can remember eleven days. Oh really? Eleven days. I and play a lot of sports, yeah. and um, my energy levels soared. I couldn't. I just couldn't stop doing things. It's amazing. Yes, it's, it's just, just it amazing. amazing. You wake up with there's no sleep in your eyes. There's, it's Fantastic. You wake up awake. Awake. Yeah. It's ready to go. Yeah. It's, it's so nice. And you're playing badminton. You, badminton. Are you a provincial or national yeah. Provincial, Provincial at my, in my age category. In the age category. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I've been doing, playing that now for about 12, 13 years. Yeah. Yeah. And you're seriously involved in it. Very involved. Yeah. Very involved. Yeah. I also do road running. Oh, really? Yes. I've done huh? seven comrades. Oh really? Yes. Seven comrades. Seven. But For those uh, people who don't know what comrades are, it's 89 kilometres or 90, 87, 87 kilometres every yes. year in June now. You've and done seven? seven? I still would love to do three. The seven we've done before I changed my diet. Yeah. I can't wait to get to doing the next three on the natural way. On the natural way. And using oh, the that would be awesome. Yes.
Yeah, try the peak endurance oh, and see I what that's like. Yeah. Do you use, do you use the peak endurance with running? And have you found a difference with your with your running on the peak endurance? I'm just so full of energy. I use it. I was out. I, I just use it. I have. It's. Uh, I'm. Do you drink it like normal people would drink an energy drink when they're yes, running? Like yes, that? yes, yeah, okay. yes. I drink and, um, and if I, I drink before I play, I drink while I play. Okay. Um, and there are days that I play from five until seven, and then seven until nine. Can I ask you how old you are? I'm fifty-five. You're fifty-five. 55. And how many kilometres are you running a day? Not too many at the moment. At the moment, but no. you run. I do. I run. I, we do it regularly. Yeah. We have our patches when yeah. life is a bit too busy. And yeah. um, but is your husband running with you? Not at the moment. No, no, no he's no. not able to run. No. Um, his his feet are sore. Yeah. Um, but no, he's, he's given that up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So badminton, how often a week do you play that? Two, three times a week. Yeah. Most, Goodness. you know, there's practice, there's the ladies' night, and then there's matches. I mean, if, if I look at you from when I first met you and now, to me, I see a vast improvement in your skin. It's like you've had a facelift. It's not that you were like, old, it's just that mm. you're looking better all yes, the time. I, think I feel, I do, yeah. I just feel fantastic. Yeah. Mm. You've got two sons, haven't you? Three sons. Three sons. Mm. And have they made any changes with the The youngest child? one has. He yes. was at home and my husband was so ill. Yes, and so, so he saw it. He saw it and he saw the change. Yeah. He's, um, no, he's, he's very good with it. Yeah. Uh, being a 25 year old, he does yes. go out and have his bras and things. But he knows. He knows now. He's also gluten intolerant. Oh, okay. So thanks he, to he your newsletter, that I picked that up. Okay. Because um, what 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 did you pick up from? I that? read a newsletter of a lady who had a little boy who had was complaining the same things that Neil was complaining about. Which was what? Which was anem Look, he looked anemic. anemic? He was okay. tired, yes. and um, he was eating so much, yes. and he'd eat his meal and then eat again after yes. the meal, and. Um, I'd sniffles, yeah. I'd headache that he yeah. kept complaining that I wasn't doing anything about, but you know, I knew that he was well. Yeah. And then I read this letter and uh, we decided to take all that pasta out. Yeah. And, uh, and what did you place it with, like potatoes, Potatoes rice. and brown rice. Yeah. And I mean, his words to me was, um, oh, Mom, why didn't we find this out while I was in the trick? Yeah. Because he was tired, you know? Yeah, he was writing his final exam. Yes, and he was tired. yes. Okay. Gee. That's amazing. And uh, he's he's helping a few people in Cape Town. He's down in Cape Town. Was How old is he now? He's 25. Yeah, he's, 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 no, is he he's, studying or working down there? He's working down there. What does he do? He's into websites. Okay. And, yes. Oh, great. And then part-time with a steel company. But yeah. um, he's very active, rows and runs and... That's interesting with the websites. I mean... But he's... I mean, he... The other day, at the time of August, mm. um, he, was, he lives in a hostel at the Sears yes. Hostel, yes. and there's a whole group of guys, and they all do these things together. They come yeah. home from work and decide, well, let's go for a run, let's go for a paddle, yeah. which is lovely. Yeah. And he um, managed to do the Argus, yeah. and he met a guy who was very bad diabetic, yeah. and this guy just couldn't get his sugar right. He's, yeah. he's, and he um, was into the chocolates, into the Coke, and, um, and he all said, hey, don't do that. You must rather have your grapefruit, your your um, grape juice, grape juice, grape yes. juice, yes. and and if you um, and if you want a chocolate, have some fruit, yes. and um, which he did, this guy did, and he couldn't believe how he was using. I can't even remember how much insulin this man was on. Oh really? Yes. It would be and so awesome to actually know, interview him in Cape Town. Tell him to get a hold of me or email me his details um, and I can contact him and say, is this guy prepared yeah, to be interviewed? Because yeah. diabetes is a big problem. And, you know, we've had some one really good interview with a diabetic, but people think, oh, well, that's one person. Mm, mm. And it would be so awesome to interview somebody else. You know, I was, when, when he told me what he had done, I was quite surprised. I said, Neil, you know... Well, I mean, it's he, common but sense. He, yeah, but he, I mean, he was at your talk when you yeah. were up in, in East London. And, and it's common sense, that's the thing. Mm. You know, he's just a common sense young guy. And yes. he's just like, yes. why are you eating chocolates? Just eat food, you mm. know? And he's, I mean, he's just parking with, with Coke and then with chocolates. And so, that's amazing. But he was on so much insulin. Oh, wow. Um, 
was, I, I can't, I wish I could remember.